view of this street circuit, the bumps and bruises that it brings from ground level. Hey, Matty, I knew I'd get an opportunity to show you this great new transaxle gearbox. Here's one opened up for us. There's the diff in there. Obviously, the front of the car's up that way, so you've got the orientation right. But talking to Mark Winterbottom's guys down there, what they think is wrong with his car. In here's your set of six gears, and there's these dog rings and these dogs. I don't know if you can see those little square boxes, if you like. And when I use a shifter, you can see all of those moving back and forth, selecting different gears. And those little dogs, if you look at that one on the dog ring, engaged on the dog on the gear, now, if they're not nice and square, if they've been chunked off or taken away on the edge, they'll go in and then they'll jump back out. And that's what's what's happening. So it may not be a gearbox problem overall or a transaction problem, maybe more of a gear issue. Well done, Marco. That was actually quite a strange thing for that to happen so early with Mark Winterbottom because they've been running all day yesterday. They've been through all the qualifying and all the things. And then to have that drama so early in the race, very strange occurrence. So more to be found out overnight, but that gearbox.